Hey, what's up guys? NGH here. Welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory. And finally, we've got some face mods. Thank you so much, Wizard Mods. Once again, he's killed it. We've got Curtis looking pretty damn good. Although he's got darker hair than I thought. I looked at some pictures. He actually does have quite dark hair. In game, they've given him this really blonde haircut. I, I don't know why, but that's looking great. Hopefully he will start to perform. Maybe that's all we needed. Maybe a change of boots will help as well. We've also got Rogers looking good up top there. Plus three ratings so far this season on loan, of course, but we can settle that buy option. 1.4 million is all it will cost. I don't have that money right now, but in this episode, oh, we're going to try and raise some money because guys, I have decided we are going to be raiding the Youth Academy. We're going to put in three, four, five players from the Youth Academy and just sell a bunch of the players that are not getting into the team. I've got five or six months of games under my belt now. I know who I like and who I don't like. We've already lost a few players. They've been recalled. You know, a few players that were on loan are no longer here. So actually, we really need the Youth Academy to step in because we don't have the money to sign players. So this is going to be a big episode. There's going to be a lot of changes to the squad. As I said with Curtis, let's change his boots. Maybe that will give him a fresh new look. Not just his new face, but some new boots as well. There we go. Right. Now, let me show you the Youth Academy. I've given them Youth Academy faces for now. They've all got faces applied to them in-game as well. These are the players that I'm going to be calling up into the squad. I've got rid of all the others that I didn't think were going to be quite good enough. So we've got Jamie Dyson. He replaces Ward, who of course was recalled. We didn't use him enough. Fair enough. And then we've got Charles John. He is a brick house. Look at his strength. 83 strength. He's only 53 rated though. So we are going to have to try and improve him as soon as we can. These guys are all in development plans as well. Trying to train them up. Except from Dyson who's on balanced. We've got Ryan Hogg here. I'm trying to improve his defensive stats. I think I want to use him as a box to box kind of central midfielder. So at the moment... He's converting to centre-back, but we won't actually convert him. It's just so his defensive stats improve a little bit faster. We've got Jackson Gale, the new McKinley, maybe. Right winger, left-footed. He looks like he could be a very good player. He's 64 rated as well. And then we've got Owen Cummings. This guy is the superstar in the Youth Academy. I'm improving his weak foot at the moment and just generally try and improve his shooting as well. But he is 65 rated with a potential of 80 to 94. Both him and the goalkeeper look to be superstars. So we will be calling these guys up uh, as and when we need them in the next few days and weeks when we sell players. I don't want to bring them all in right away because they're training right now. Although it wouldn't matter, would it? I might as well just call them all up now. Let's just do it then. So we'll promote, promote, promote. Promote and promote. Oh, that's so sad. I forgot. He's only 15. That just goes to show how good he's going to be. At 15 years old, he's the highest rated player in the Youth Academy. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for Owen Cummings. So let's go ahead and add them into the team. John is going to stay on the reserves at the moment. I think Hogg can probably get into uh, the first kind of 20 odd players. He's probably good enough to be on the bench. We've got uh, Gale. I think he is going to be the main backup to Wilkes. Look, I know I said with Jacobs, if he scored in the last minute, I would keep him. If he, if he won us the game, I would keep him. But let's be real. I think if a good offer comes in, maybe I should sell him. Now that I've got Gale and Harness on the bench, and don't worry, I'm going to update their faces again, the, the in-game picture. Um, why did I make Youth Academy one? <laughs> Why did I do that? I just get obsessed. I just, I quite enjoy it. I, I jump on, on, on Photoshop and just make stuff. But yeah, I think Gale comes in for Jacobs in that position. We will convert him to a right winger. Um, I don't think, I don't think Dyson starts just yet. McGillivray has been really good. And like I said, John will be on the bench. Now, I do have a Youth Academy report waiting for us. So let's go ahead and see what we get this time. We've got James Booth. We have been scouting him for two months. We know he is a striker or a centre forward. Uh, 62 to 80 potential, a value of 130,000. I need to start being a little bit more ruthless here. I've got way too many players and I've just called up a bunch. So I think, you know, he's probably not going to be quite good enough. We've got Frederick Foster, 78 to 94 potential, a decent value as well. We'll keep hold of him for now. Woolley is not going to make it. 
48 to 66. Oh, dearie me. Although, it doesn't actually matter too much, does it? Because dynamic potential. He could have a really good six months if I was to call him up now. And then his dynamic potential could be 70 to 80 or something like that. Uh, we've got Michael Nelson, 69 to 94, 6 foot 4. If he's a central midfielder, oh, he's worth 800,000. See, I, I bet you he's a left mid, isn't he? But I'll, I'll convert him. He could be the new Diaby. Central midfielder, I'm going to go ahead and sign him up. Rory Crook, mm, we'll, we'll keep scouting him. Arthur Newman, he's worth 450k. Okay, we'll go ahead and take him. Taylor Knowles, not good enough. And then we've got Charlie Hunter, six foot one, 72 to 94. He's worth 1.3 million. Yes, sign him up. We'll go ahead and look at those guys again in a month's time. Now, let me just jump back into the Youth Academy and take a look at these new guys. I love using the Youth Academy. It is good fun. So we've got, yes, he's a central midfielder. Oh, his work rates aren't ideal. I'd want him to be definitely a bit more of a defensive option because of his height. He can play a centre-back as well. So that's that's good. He looks really good. 59 rated. And then Charlie Hunter is a cam slash centre-forward. His shooting is 63. Okay, this guy could be really good as well. He's got very decent physical stats. Very quick. I think we convert him to a striker. We need a striker. So let's go ahead and do that right away. We'll convert him straight away into striker. That's going to take 19 weeks. Um, with Nelson, his defending is a little bit on the low side. So let's go ahead and convert him to a defensive midfielder. That should really speed things up a little bit. He is going to be the new DRB. DRB in the Schalke career mode, tall central midfielder. He was amazing. I guess this is the new DRB, but in the Portsmouth Road to Glory. Now, this Arthur Newman guy doesn't look as good as I was hoping, but maybe I could convert him to a right back. We do need a right back at some point. It's going to take 72 weeks. It's quite a lot, but why not? I don't see why not. It could work. Let's try it out. You know, worst case, we release him, but he might might be okay. Right, let's get into the first game of this episode. It is the round three stage of the FA Cup. We've been drawn against Millwall, and I'm pretty confident if we win this game, we should be then facing a Premier League team. It could happen. Wilkes is top scorer with three goals in this competition. Oh, wow. Pereira's gone to Bayern for 83 million. Can we, can we take Pereira? We need a right back. That'd be ideal. Holding's gone to West Brom as well. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just get into the game against Millwall. Let's put in a good performance and we're going to have some of the Youth Academy players start. Actually, maybe they could come on as a sub. I'm not, I'm not sure I want to put in Gale instead of Wilkes, for example. Maybe we could start Hogg. But then again, his training just hasn't... Hasn't really finished yet. His defending is only 34. And if I'm going to play him in this central midfield role, that could be a problem. So maybe he's not ready just yet. Maybe we could throw in John. I kind of want to give him a go. He's an absolute tank. Do you know what? I might. So let's put him on the bench as well. So we'll go with this as the starting lineup. Although I'm going to put it, put in Minoga at right back. And then maybe, yeah, the likes of, of Gale and Hogg and John could come on in the second half. Come on then, let's get a close-up of Curtis and Rogers, their new faces. No, I don't want to look at the Millwall team. Okay, well, there's there's me. <laughs> Show me the new faces. I want to see them up close in the sun at Fratton Park. I don't think we're going to see it, are we? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm currently looking to get uh, a face mod for Wilkes as well. It's a little bit more tricky because there's no good pictures of him. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting through most of the players that I think will stay at the club. I think I need to get one made for Minoga as well. But here is Curtis. First time, the new him. And uh, let's give it to Rogers as well. I, I love getting a new face mod. It's honestly like uh, the player's new. A, a player has been reborn. But Rogers was doing so well. It's different with Curtis. He was absolutely awful so far. Hopefully, this is the start of something new for him. That's not good. Um, we're 1-0 down within 12 minutes. Minoga lost his man. And just like that, we're losing. Hmm, not ideal. Such a simple cross as well. And I've got to be questioning the keeper there. 
How is he not getting closer to that? Disappointing start to the game. Can we get straight back in, though? Over the top for Curtis. That's a hell of a ball. He's got it down. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Curtis, is he here to stay? Is he here to suddenly start performing? There you can see his face. Mate, I really hope so. This could be the new beginning for Curtis. He has been really dis disappointing, hasn't he? This is a great finish, though. Okay, right. We're back in the game. Still a lot of time to play, but that's a step in the right direction. Honestly, I was getting so frustrated with Curtis, I was considering selling him. Genuinely. Because why carry a player that is probably the most valuable player in the squad when he's not playing well? I could get maybe three, four million for him. But if he plays like this, there's no way I'm selling him. Although that wasn't a great pass. He's going to go for a shot here, which is blocked. But yeah, honestly, that's, that's how frustrating it's been with him. I just have not been able to get the best of him. But maybe this is a new beginning. Here's Rogers. Can you get the shot away? Hey, that's a pen. Come on. He knocked me over. That's offside, surely. Yeah, it is. Just about. Gosh, they are dangerous. When they do get the ball towards the box, I do struggle. Great tackle, that. Oh, we haven't been able to keep it, though. That's not offside. Oh, wow. Don't let him get the cross in. Oh, no, I've gone to ground. Get a tackle in. Come on, Holt. Nicely done. Right, that is half time. We've definitely been the better side since they scored, but they are a threat for sure. Go on, Curtis. Get him in behind. Nice. Okay, we've got some runners. Rogers and Wilkes are getting forward. Look at Rogers. Completely open. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Both the new faces of the squad have scored. <laughs> Rogers, honestly, he has turned out to be one of my favourite players in the squad. I absolutely love the guy. I'm so glad we've got the real him now. Great assist from Curtis, but really, this is about the poor defending. What were Millwall doing? They fell asleep there. I think it's time, though. I want to bring on one of the youngsters. Wilkes has not really been involved at all in this game, but I, I, I want to keep him on. I'm going to bring in John. Big John. <laughs> He's going to be playing at... CDM as a minus seven. Oh, hang on. It's because he's actually a CDM. Okay. Um, what do I want to do then? I think we could change the formation just to fit him in. Because I, I do just want to give him a go. We'll go with Rogers and Wilkes. Wilkes can play as a striker. No problem. Curtis as Cam. So we'll go with John at CDM. Close on the left. And let's take... Oh, we could bring in Hog. Yeah, it's time to try Hog as well. Let's do that. And then maybe towards the end of the game, we'll bring in Gale at Cam. Or maybe we'll throw him on as a striker. Unfortunately, the ball's already been kicked. So we're not going to get them on just yet. Look at the size of Big John. Look at him. He's a massive guy. You do not want to get into a one-on-one -on -one with him. Also, Hog is on the pitch now. Here he is. Left-footed. Over to Holt. Back post. Wilkes, or oh, Cooper did well. Very, very well. Do you know what? I'm, I'm bringing him on now. Why not? It's part of the fun. Uh, I'm going to take off Curtis. He's had a good game, but I'm going to put Gale at Cam. It looks like he can be a pretty decent Cam option. He hasn't dropped any overall there, but here he comes. Gale, is he going to be the new McKinley? <laughs> oh, he's got a long way to go to be that good. Ball comes in from Wilkes. No way. Day was so close to getting that across the goal. Here we go. Gale's on the ball. Gosh, he's got good acceleration on him. Play over to the right side for Minoga. That wasn't a great pass. I think we're going to lose it there. That's unlucky. Oh my god, I just realised I could call him Big Johnny. No way. I can't. I can't call him Big Johnny, but I, I could. I really could call him that. That's quite funny. <laughs> Here's Hog into Wilkes. Go on, on the right side for close. Can he finish the game off? Nope, he puts it wide, but... I think that's going to be it. They're not going to have time. They've got one minute and this is going to be game over. And we are going to be going through in the FA Cup. Please give us Arsenal. Give me Arsenal in the next round. I would absolutely love that. GG, lads. Great performance. So I've put quite a few names up for sale. Players that I just don't think are going to be quite good enough. Jacobs is actually one of them. But... He wants a new contract. There's plenty of time for that. Maybe. Maybe we're going to sell you. I feel kind of bad about it, but do you know what? 
we got to do what we got to do. We need to get this club right to the, the very top again. And that means making some tough decisions. Um, I'm looking at options. I'm looking at options. I, I don't want to say 100% that they're leaving because they might not. We obviously need to get offers in, um, which we haven't had. Any oh, actually, no, we had one offer, didn't we? Yeah, Turnbull. So he's a young goalkeeper that really isn't going to make it anymore because we've just brought in Dyson, the Youth Academy player. So Plymouth won him. I'll go ahead and accept it. 280k. It's a decent amount of money. Yes, we could do maybe a teeny bit more, but it's not going to make a massive difference. Uh, up next, we've got Walsall in the round three of the EFL trophy, which is the Papa John's trophy, right? They are in League Two, so I would be fully expecting a win here. And hopefully that's the case. I've gone with a very strong team, so I'm not really taking any risks here. I just want to get the win and get through to the next round. This is a trophy that ideally we can get pretty far in. We've won the ball quite deep into their own half here. Wilkes could be in. Passes it inside to Rogers, and it's a good save. Corner coming in, and now it's going to be a throw. <laughs> Why not just another corner? That would have been ideal. Doesn't look like we're going to be doing anything from here. Oh, here we go. Go on. Oh, my God. How are we not winning this game? We've had two shots, two chances. How? How? Come on. We've been absolutely all over them. Surely we'll get a goal. Oh, my God. It's another chance that's gone over the bar this time. Rogers, I think, has had two of the shots. You would expect him to bury one, but of course, we don't know how good of a chance it is. It's very difficult to tell here, but we've been very good so far. I am expecting a goal before half time. We haven't got long, though. 15 minutes. Oh, here we go. Go on, Curtis. What are you doing? Why didn't he pass that across? He did a Harry Kane. Who remembers the Harry Kane? He should have passed it. I'm still salty. Damn Tottenham player. Oh, finally. And it's Curtis. Get in there. Oh, he's on fire, guys. That's two goals in two games. You love to see it. And that should be half time. Perfect time to go in at the break. One nil up. Look at the domination. Oh, it might be three here. No! That was close from close. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the dad jokes and all the puns in this series. But hey, look, it, it makes me happy. I'm hoping that that's okay. Yes, two nil. And it's Naylor. I just brought him on. Seven shots, 2-0. I think it's time, guys. We're going to jump to result here. It finishes 2-0. I'm glad Naylor came on. Like, I'm not using him as much as maybe I should. He is the captain of the club, but I'm just trying to get some of those youngsters some game time. But he's come on. He's got the goal that's potentially won us the game. Who knows if Walsall got even close to having a shot towards the end there, but we've beaten... The, the weaker team. It's it's a deserved victory. I just saw that Sunderland got knocked out. So, yeah, not great for Sunderland. Where are they right now? All the way down in 19th. Oh, my God. I'll be keeping an eye out for them throughout this series because, of course, this is kind of a similar one. But anyway, up next, guys, it's a tough one. We have Hull City. Wilkes is going up against his old club again. Can we get another win and stay at the top of the table with Charlton? I don't know who they're playing next. Hopefully they're playing someone like Lincoln and they really struggle. Turnbull has been sold to Plymouth, one of our rivals, really, but he's not going to improve their team drastically, so I'm not worried about that. We have an offer coming in for Downing now, one of the centre-backs that really can't get any game time especially since Day came in. Um, don't make the joke, Matt. Don't make the... No, I'm not going to do it. Um, 360,000. I mean, I'd rather sell him to another club that's kind of in England. It would make more sense. But we're sending him to... Is that a Swedish club? I think it might be. He's going to Sweden. It's a lovely country. I've been there many times. We're just raising money. You know, we're going to buy Rogers before the end of this season at this rate. And it's going to be affordable, relatively comfortably affordable. Um, but talking of Rogers, we are going to have to take him out for this game. We have a few tired legs. Um, when recommending me a cam, it actually puts hog up there. Do we play hog at cam? Um, wait, what? He's better at shooting, passing. He's quicker. He, he, he's better than Stevenson in pretty much every way. Really? Oh, dear. I mean, I like Stevenson. 
<laughs> he can't be. Oh, you probably noticed I've I've changed their in-game pictures again, by the way, to have the Portsmouth shirt. I'm surprised, but okay, let, let's give him a go at Cam. Maybe I shouldn't be training him to be more of a box-to-box. -box. Maybe Stevenson would be better off as maybe a, a left winger or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll give Hogg a go. He's 63 rated. Like, it's very decent. Um, at right back, we'll go with Minoga again. And, oh, I kind of want to call up the, the young central midfielder, the six foot four guy. I forgot his name. Maybe he could play. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll go with what we've got here at the moment. Um, should we put Big Johnny in? I can't call him that. No, no, no. We're going to put Naylor in. He deserves a game. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, I think, I think we just go with this squad. Maybe Brown as well. Let's go with him. Let's go, Curtis. Three goals in three games. What do you reckon, guys? Can he keep up the good form? Why not? You know, we're playing really good football at the moment. He is getting a lot of chances. Let's just go for a, a solid win here against a very good side. He's in behind already here. We can go for the first time cross. Oh, go on. Wilkes. Whew. Clark kept his former teammates just away there. We're still top scorers, by the way. That's awesome. Cross coming in from Curtis. Day is there, but it's headed out by Greaves. Can we win it back? Yes, Brown. Nice. He may not be the quickest left back, but he's really good in the air. Here's a ball to Curtis again. Harrison in the box. Is he onside? It doesn't matter. I don't think he's going to ever reach that. Curtis inside to Naylor. To Harrison again. Left foot. Oh, what a save from the keeper. Here we go again. Over to Hogg. He's looked pretty good so far. Over the top for Curtis. It's quite nice having a left-footed player there. I'm going to give it back to him. Oh, he's in. Hit it. Oh, my God. That was so close. He's good, you know. I like him. Very decent player. Maybe I should change his development plan. Let's get him going into that cam roll, potentially. I don't know. You guys, leave a comment. Tell me, who do you think? Stevenson or Hogg? They're both very good options. Maybe we just use him as a central midfielder and a cam. You know, it doesn't have to be just one. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes, Hogg, go. Play it inside again. Yes, Harrison's in. Can you finish it? Yes, he can. 1-0, 34 minutes in. Deserved lead. We have been all over them. They've had maybe one or two breaks. They haven't really looked that dangerous. Lovely play from Hogg and Wilkes on that right side. Ultimately, though, it's fallen to Harrison, who may be out of favour slightly, but still a really dangerous player on his day. We're in a bit of trouble here, though. Oh, no. Damn it. I've let them score. Oh. Okay. I kind of switched off for a second there. It's just too easy. Look at this. Just a couple of passes and they're in. Okay. That's all right. We're, we're going to win this game. I'm confident we're still going to have many more chances. So let's just stick with the plan. It's almost half time though. Oh, Curtis. Nicely done. Still going here. Still going. Go on. Right before half time. Wilkes in. Nope. Clark's there. We should be able to get a cross in though. Go on. Go on. Curtis. No. He has to get that on target. Minimum. But it is half time. It is one all. Curtis could have made it 2 1 with the last moment of the game, of the first half, I mean. There we go. Wilkes on that left foot. Go on. Oh. Good attempt. Saved by the keeper again. Good start to the second half, though. Let's quickly take this and get on the attack again. Curtis into close. Over to Wilkes on that right side again. Over to Hogg if I can. He's got it. Go on, Hogg. Go on. Oh, man. He's a bit of a hogger. He hogs the... I just can't help myself, can I? I just can't. Time for some reinforcements now. Big Johnny is going to come on. <laughs> I can't call him that. I really can't, but I'm, I'm going to, at least for a little while. Um, I'm also bringing on Gale on that right side. We're taking off Wilkes. I just want to give Gale a go. Here's Naylor into Harrison. Oh, go on. Over the top again. Oh, Hogg's there. What? Is that not a foul? No, they're in again. Oh, what a save. Big save from McGillivray there. Oh, no, Naylor, don't you dare. No. No. Naylor, what have you done? You're too slow. Oh, wow. Do you, do you need to have a seat? Are you, are you struggling physically? What is that? Why are you jumping that challenge? Yes, you might get your ankles snapped, but it's for the team. You blocked that. Come on. 
That's not good. That really is not good. 2-1 down with 20 minutes to go. Can we get late drama FC to win this again? Onto the left side here for Harness, who has just come on. Driving forward here. I'm just going to have to hit it. Why? Why would you go with your left foot? Oh my god, this game is infuriating. Why would you go with your left foot there? No. You go with your right foot. I opened up his body. I was ready to just finish that Thierry on restyle. No. Just didn't want to do it. Okay, there's still time. Come on. Here's Harrison. Naylor's making a run. Oh, come on, Hog. You can make a run too. Put him in. Back to Harrison. Oh, go on. Finish it. Yes! Late drama FC again. <laughs> it's never ending. Right, skip this. We can win the ball straight away from kickoff, hopefully. Get forward and, and score the winner, right? That's about to happen. Watch. Watch this. Okay. We're going to win the ball back. Don't pass it backwards. Do not pass it backwards. No, that's it. I don't think we're going to have time. Damn you. Oh, no, we're not going to win that. Unfortunate, really, because they, they were about to concede 100%. You know it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, no. <sighs> Imagine if we conceded last minute. Okay, a two-all draw. Not the result we wanted, but considering the mistake I made to recover it again, late drama FC, I'll take it. And Charlton won 3-1 against Shrewsbury. Damn it, Shrewsbury, you could have, could have pulled one out for us there. So now we're two points behind, but 12 points clear of Lincoln. So yeah, the, the top two is looking pretty much certain now, although things can change. I don't think it will, but that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've absolutely loved this episode. I love getting the Youth Academy players in. We've got some more to take a look at next time. Will I be bringing in... Um, what was his name? We've got Hunter and Nelson. He could be really good for us. But um, really, I'm just waiting for Cummings to get to 16 years old. And then we can use him. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode.